buttons. Sometimes you just have to push the button. But what does the button do? That was a question that Sophie asked after she milled this lovely panel. I responded with maybe some sort of like IOT button where it controls something. She was like, yeah, that'd be cool. And I was like, hey, would, would you want to maybe work on that together? Uh, Cause we're still at a pandemic and I'm kind of starved for human interaction. And she agreed. So we began brainstorming on what this button could do. I think this is a really effective creative exercise, you know, coming up with a part of the design or concept that would traditionally come later in the process, in this case, the, the panel design with the button layout, and then basing the whole project around that. Um, it adds like that extra uh, kind of restriction uh, that can really make cool ideas come out that maybe wouldn't have come out and on their own naturally. So after some chatting, uh, we decided to make this a Apple Media Services play pause button. Uh, there's support for accessing those protocols over Bluetooth with CircuitPython, so it makes everything really, really simple. We went with a Feather Blue Fruit board, uh, since of course it has BLE support, but additionally, we wanted this to be a wireless project. So it's just this box floating in space, not unlike Bluetooth signals. Uh, and the feathers, of course, have that LiPo battery plug, so it makes it really easy to make it a cordless, wireless, floating in space project. The button is a very satisfying, chonky button uh, that's just not too big, you know, not too small either. Really just ideal for the layout of the panel and its purposes. When you play and pause, you want to like do it with purpose. Uh, choosing the proper button for a project or, you know, interface in general is a skill. And uh, Sophie knocked this one out of the park. Sophie also designed the 3D printed case that you see here that the panel is enclosing. Uh, and I, I really like it. It's got a very industrial kind of guitar pedal vibe that I'm really digging. And inside there's standoffs and everything for the board and the parts. So it just, it works really nicely. This enclosure is also the final successful prints off of my Prusa. It's a long story filled with sorrow and anguish like most 3D printing stories are. Uh, and additionally, I also had to pause this print and start up a new filament spool because I finished off my original spool of like obnoxious yellow that I love so much. Luckily I had a backup so I could just feed it in there. But basically what I'm trying to tell you is it it's basically a miracle that this part exists um, when it did. Speaking of the filament, as I just said, I, you know, I printed it in yellow. I really like the shade of yellow. It's very, got that 80s vibe going. Uh, and then I opted for the yellow variants of this very satisfying button. So as a result, the aesthetic of my box kind of gives you either vibes of a bumblebee or a dofer wasp filter, uh, depending on if you're a normal person or you're into your rack. Assembly for this project is fairly straightforward since we're only soldering the button to the feather and of course the power switch, just on off switch. Uh, and then, you know, everything just nests nicely into the case uh, with the standoffs, a couple screws. And then of course, everything is sealed in with this lovely, lovely panel. So the way it works is if you have any media open on your Apple device, when you press the button, It'll either play or pause the media. Uh, super simple, but super effective. I'm planning to set mine up at my workbench so that I can keep my phone in a safer place, not next to my soldering iron, but still control my music. Because how can you solder without music? If I'm melting metal, I'm playing music. It was super fun to collaborate with Sophie on this project. We actually live on opposite coasts of the United States. Uh, but I think one thing, possibly only one thing, positive that's come out of the pandemic is kind of the normalizing of collaborating with folks that are at a far distance. Uh, I think in the before times, you'd meet up with folks at conventions or things and you'd say, yeah, we should do that. But then it would feel really strange and like a wild idea so you wouldn't follow through with it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's cool to do. I highly recommend it. So I'm just gonna be making a video on her perspective of the project as well, uh, featuring this lovely, lovely panel. So be sure to check that out 
Milling is really cool. I don't really understand it, but I really like the results. However, that's gonna do it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep pushing buttons, whether they be metaphorical or physical. And until next time, this is from Blitz City DIY.